One of the notable performers at Tucson Pride in the Desert was folk rocker Namely Brennett. As I sat down to talk with her, her unconventional name Namely had me scratching my head for a while until it dawned on me that it comes from the word anomaly. It actually kind of did come from that. Um, it was a sort of earlier transition for me and I, I was um, sort of, uh, I didn't want to really pick a side and pick a name that would really like confine me to a gender so much. Um, and I was giving an interview and uh, someone asked, how would you define your gender? And I was like, I don't know, I'm kind of an anomaly. And then uh, the next morning I woke up and I thought, I kind of like the sound of that, but I don't really like the spelling, so I just kind of started playing around with it. And Singer-songwriter Namalee Bennett's musical credits on her current CD, Singer Shine Your Light, is impressive with no less than 18 instruments that she performs. I've always played music, and uh, I was I went to music school and got a degree, and uh, kind of got out of songwriting for a while in my 20s, and uh, I was playing a lot of piano, and got back into my late 20s, uh, probably around the same time I started um, realizing I should do something about my gender issues. Uh, and so I put out a CD called Boy in a Dress in 2002, and that was kind of the first, uh, first CD as Nomaly Brennett. In her song Boy in a Dress, from her debut CD of the same name, Namalee paints an idyllic picture of an innocent childhood free from gender conformity. Boy in a Dress, obviously, uh, was a sort of uh, an attempt to give like a, a timeline of sort of what life is like for me as a kid. Uh, and it was, I think I was thinking about that really sort of beautiful androgynous time, you know, before you hit puberty. Uh, and had this image of like, you know, wearing one of my sister's dresses or something. And, and at that point thinking, God, you know, I could really be either at this point. Um, and so the song was written as sort of that, I really like the idea of sort of bringing that, that innocence, and that perspective back into it as an adult, thinking, yeah, you could really define yourself. You don't necessarily have to pick one or the other. I think, although I was just saying, you know, you don't really have to pick one gender or the other, uh, it, it does kind of behoove you <laughs> when you're moving through society. Um, and earlier, when I was, I did my first tour with the CD Boy in a Dress, uh, I was a, a lot more uh, ambiguous and genderqueer and have like five o'clock shadow and pigtails and stuff. And, and that made me really nervous, just going through uh, sort of rural parts of the country and having my own prejudices and ideas about what that was supposed to be like. Um, it was it was pretty, it was difficult to stick with it, I think, because I tend to be a really nervous person and, and getting in situations like that is, is pretty, I get all worked up, you know? Uh, so I think after a while I sort of coasted into a gender identity that ended up being more female and uh, kind of felt a lot more comfortable and uh, I don't know the first few years were difficult my way of, of promoting being trans is, is to try and just uh, have a positive image and uh, be perceived as a, a good uh, kind person who's a good songwriter and I feel like that goes a long way towards sort of people are willing often to if they like you as a person or they like your music then they'll sort of they'll make room for the rest of your identity sometimes it's just sort of everybody's birthright is, is to really to live openly and uh, I think you might be able to take that for granted as someone who grows up you know straight in our society um, so it's really important for me to be authentic as a musician and then as a person and uh, so being out is just is part of that and hopefully um, it might also help other people who are trans or something to see like hey somebody's out there doing it you know and it's not it's, the world may not be as scary as you think it is
and we will bring you back to Tucson with singer, recording artist Kimberly Caldwell from the second season of American Idol. So don't go away. You're watching Outlook Video. We'd love to get mail from you. Send it to Outlook Video at P.O. Box 390-996, Mountain View, California, 94039-0996. To contact us by telephone, call 408-293-3040, extension 205. Or you can send email to comments at outlookvideo.org. To learn more about Outlook Video and to get a list of our air dates and times, point your web browsers to outlookvideo.org.